Hey guys, this is Lacey Blyer with The Sweet Pea Chef, and today I'm gonna to be making my cauliflower mashed potatoes. I have to admit, I was a little wary of trying mashed cauliflower for the first time, but I kept reading over and over and over about all these different bloggers who are making mashed cauliflower and how good it was and how comparable it was to mashed potatoes. So once I actually started cutting some regular potatoes out of my diet, I gave it a shot, and you know what? It's super good, and it's so easy to make. So if you've been nervous about trying this out for yourself too, watch this video, and I hope to convince you just how good and tasty and fun this is gonna be. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna start boiling some water over high heat on the stove in a deep pot, and that's gonna be used to steam the cauliflower. And while we're doing that, we're gonna cut up the cauliflower. So when you buy cauliflower at the store, usually it comes with the stem and the leaves attached. So go ahead and break off all those stems and then slice it in half, and then carefully using your knife, go ahead and make a divot into the stem to get all of that out. You can leave a little bit in once you have most of it out, Go ahead and chop up that cauliflower into quarters or maybe a little smaller if you want to get it to fit into the steamer basket. Plop it over into the steamer and cover it for about six to eight minutes until it's nice and tender. So we'll know when the cauliflower is done when you can insert a fork into it and it's super tender, it just goes in really easily. Once that's good, go ahead and remove that carefully and lay it onto a plate lined with paper towels. And what I like to do is allow it to cool some because the more steam that stops coming off of the cauliflower and the drier it is, the less it's gonna have moisture when you mix it in the food processor. And so that's gonna make the texture a lot better. I also like to pat it down with paper towel. So go ahead and do all of that and then add all of that cauliflower and those garlic cloves into the bowl of a food processor. No food processor, no problem. Go ahead and just add those to a large bowl and we're gonna mash them up by hand the old fashioned way. And you can use a potato masher for that. It won't be quite as perfectly mashed as a food processor, but it'll still be tasty. So now that we have the cauliflower and the garlic in the food processor, we wanna add the Parmesan, the salt, and the pepper. And go ahead and start pulsing that away. You want all of the cauliflower to be nicely chopped up and nicely uh, broken apart, but we don't want it fully pureed, so don't puree it all the way. And you might find that you need to use a spatula a few times to break away and to move the cauliflower around because that they get kind of stuck, the little stinky buggers. But once you get that done, you should have a nice texture. And if you need a little bit more moisture in there, add a little bit of almond milk or chicken broth to loosen it up a little bit. So there you have it, cauliflower mashed potatoes. All right guys, I hope you try this. It's super good and I think you're gonna love it. Um, if you're looking for the recipe, it's down below as always. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash so you never miss a recipe. Thank you very much, I'll see you next time. Paper towel, plate and paper towel. Now that we have the mashed <laughs> pureed, we don't want to pureed, sorry. Give it a try.